Welcome to our review on controlling plant growth. So what we actually need to remember here is that it's not only animals that can respond to stimuli from their environment. Plants also respond to stimuli and they use hormones to do this. So they're going to use these hormones in order to control and coordinate the growth of their shoots and their roots. They're going to control and coordinate their flowering and also the ripening of fruits. The word tropism is referring to the plant's response to a stimulus. So for example, the fact that plants grow towards the light would be an example of a tropism. Phototropism is where plant shoots grow towards the light. So because they're growing towards the light, they're referred to as being positively phototropic. Now, in order to do this, they need a hormone called auxin. So they use this hormone called auxin, which then allows them to grow their shoots towards the light. What actually happens then is once that auxin has been made, it moves through the plant in solution. And when light strikes one side of the shoot tip, then the auxin is going to build up on the shaded side, so the opposite side to where the light is hitting. Now, as a result of that auxin being present on that shaded side, the cells there are going to elongate. So because the cells on the shaded side get longer than the ones on the side of the light, then the shoot bends over and bends towards the light. So that means that our plant's far more likely to survive because as it bends towards the light, it's angling its leaves towards it, which means it can carry out photosynthesis at a much greater rate. The second type of tropism we need to understand is geotropism. So geotropism is the response of the plant to gravity. So this is basically how the plant knows the roots go down into the ground because the roots will grow downwards because of their response to gravity, because they experience this geotropism. We can actually use these plant hormones then in agriculture. So what we can actually do is decide whether we want things to speed up or slow down with regards to the plant growth. So I've got a few different examples here for you of how we can do this. The first one are weed killers. So we can actually use these auxins as selective weed killers and the best example of this was Agent Orange, which they used back in the Vietnam War and sprayed it all over the trees. And as a result of that, the trees lost their leaves. Now, obviously in the Vietnam War, they were doing this to remove cover, but the end result was that as soon as those trees had lost their leaves, they died because without leaves, they can't carry out photosynthesis. We can also use our hormones in rooting powders. So when we take cuttings of plants and we want them to grow into that new plant, we need to stimulate the growth of the roots. So what you do is you take your cutting, you dip it into this powder that contains the auxins, and then that stimulates the growth of new roots. In terms of fruit ripening, what we can actually do there is spray auxin onto the fruit trees. And as a result of that auxin being sprayed onto them, it prevents the ripe fruit from dropping. So that means that no fruit will fall from the tree and so it won't become bruised. And then as soon as the farmer is ready, ready to harvest all of that food, then what they will do is spray it once more with a high dose of auxin and then the fruit will all drop at that point. So you can harvest it all at once. The last one on there is to control dormancy. So in seeds, they're normally dormant because our plants won't be looking to grow through the winter. So they produce seeds to help them survive that winter period in a dormant state. Now, obviously, when we're thinking about farming, we may want to grow some of these plants that normally only grow in the summer in a glass house through the winter. So we've got to break that dormancy. And in order to do that, we can apply the auxin into them. And then that means they're going to start to germinate those seeds so we can grow them even in the winter.